Hey what's going on guys, Kodomakikins here, in this video we're gonna start implementing our make move function which is the core part of the entire move generator and before we start I just like to, I would like to introduce a little trick or hack that uh, we're supposed to be making use of within this particular implementation so um, uh, when it comes to implementing the so-called quest and search serving the purpose of getting rid of uh, the horizon effect produced by the alphabet of search we would, uh, we would need to generate only capture moves so not all the moves but only captures and um, the traditional way of doing this is just to clone the generate moves functions uh, function and just get rid of those add move function calls where where it comes to adding moves without a capture flag but that takes a little bit too 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 much uh, code, uh, so that's that's a, that's that's a little bit too much from the co uh, source code perspective. So I would like to use uh, I would like to distinguish between captures and quiet moves uh, within the make move function itself, and that's the reason to provide uh, a so-called move flag to distinguish between those two type of moves. So um, here uh, I just want to enumerate the move types and let's say enum and all moves uh, this this would be kind of equal to zero so almost equals to zero just the name for a move flag and also only captures only captures would be equal to one and with this in mind we can already define our make move function so uh, we can even say make move on on board on chessboard so this would be the static inline just to make it faster integer and call it make move and it would be taken to two arguments sorry guys so int move itself and integer move flag uh, oh Okay, like this. And now we can simply s distinguish between so called, again, like wipe moves and capture moves. Capture. Uh, so we can simply say if, uh, and now we need to ask whether the move flag. Uh, uh, is equal all moves so uh, or uh, in other words is equal to zero because all moves it's kind of uh, the encoded uh, the encoded constant for the value of zero so in this case we would be dealing with our quiet moves otherwise so uh, else and now we need to make sure uh, that the move is the capture so make sure uh, move is is the capture and we can say if get move capture and move as an argument so if this uh, if this return is true so we have the um, capture flag uh, being turned on so if have a look if we have a look at this move formatting we, we get this capture flag so in case if this capture flag is available and this this is the reason to provide this condition here so in this case we actually want to call the make move function recursively and uh, providing the move itself and now all moves just to get into this part of the code and otherwise otherwise uh, the move is not a capture and we just want to return zero so else and return zero means like mm, don't make it don't make it like this uh, and th this would be uh, this would be mm, clear later on when uh, we would be actually making moves on board okay so mm, let me just think well okay let's try to compile and run the code first to make sure no typos here so I just want to say make debug and if it compiles I'm gonna run the BBC binary executable here 
okay and yeah so now we can actually move on so the very first uh, thing to do within the uh, making a move we need to preserve a uh, board state uh, while simply saying copy board and the reason for doing this uh, is very simple so let's say that we have our cane being exposed into into a check after we, we made some sort of a move and that's uh, that means that if we don't deal with this cane being exposed into a check that means that the, the move is illegal so we need to take it back so that's the reason for preserving the board state just like it was explained when we were, pro we were providing this uh, uh preserve and restore copy make approach uh, board macros so this is the very first thing to consider and the next thing uh would be to parse the move so we need to parse uh source square target square and literally all we have uh all the stuff we have encoded within within our move here so mm, now i can simply say oh my god so integer source square would be equal get move source and move as an argument now integer target square would be equal to get move target and move as an argument now we need to uh, extract the piece and it would be equal to get move piece and pass in the move here also we want to extract the promoted piece if any available so here we just say get move promoted and move and now we need to deal with our flags so uh, int capture would it be equal to get move capture and move now uh, double point push so I just call this int double equals to um, get move double so j just uh, just to make sure that this is clear so this double stands for the flag uh, whether the move is the double point push or not so just just to just to make it clear okay so move here then integer uh let's call this in peasant like this to uh, avoid the collision with the in peasant with the global in peasant variable to represent the actual in peasant uh, state of uh of the board so it would be equal to get move in peasant and the move itself and finally in Castling again, not castle, but castling just to avoid, to avoid collisions uh, of the variable names. So castling equals get move castling and the move. And here should be up to six elements. So one, two, three, four, five, six. What? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I mean eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just just like here, there should be eight. Yeah, just eight, uh, eight parts here. Okay, and before actually proceeding with our make move, I would also like, um, or, well, let's actually first implement uh, at least some activity within the make move function. So let's uh, uh, handle the. Uh, Move, let's handle the piece movements itself first and then we'll provide a test uh, a test driver to actually see uh, how the pieces are getting moved on the board and then we'll go to handling all the move flags and all all the possible uh, differences between uh, different moves so in order to make the move the very first thing we need to pop the bit uh, on the bit boards uh, so I'm referencing a bit boards referenced by the piece. So that's actually the reason why <laughs> why we were uh, why uh, the reason behind storing this piece. So uh, in order to alter the bit boards, 
uh, we need to do two things we need to pop pop the bit from uh, the bit board uh, where the piece was actually uh, uh, where, where the piece bit was occupying the particular index and we need to set it where it would uh, into the appropriate index that it would occupy after the move is made so uh, as far as we don't know which bit board is, well in case of the array based uh, uh, array, bo array based board representation we don't really need this piece because we just can use the source and the target square to index the board array but here we have no idea like which particular bit board to index and that's the reason to use this piece being encoded within the move so we just uh, reference, we just index in the bit boards, uh, not bit board, but bit boards. Sorry, bit, we're indexing our bit boards by the piece, whatever piece is available uh, within this move, and we want to pop bit from this sort of a bit board uh, at the source square. Very simple, and then we need to send bit, and again bit boards and the piece and the target square so we just pop in the bit from the source square and we're setting the bit on the target on the target square uh, but this would obviously work only for quiet moves for non captures because uh, when we capture we need to deal with uh, we need to erase the bit from the captured bit board and so on but uh, we'll, we will be covering this within the later uh, videos within this series so uh, now I would like to provide some sort of a driver uh, to actually test this uh, to test this make move so let's restore the original tricky position and print board okay, let's uh, sorry so let's run this again okay excuse me two or more data types uh, okay something has gone horribly wrong within our uh, with the move parsing hmm Oh my god, it seems like, yeah, it, it it's treating this double as the type <laughs> in C programming language, I guess. So let's call it actually a double push. So I hope now this should actually be working. Okay, so we got our uh, initial FPN. And now we need to create a move list again. Create move list instance. So moves move list and one element like this and then we want to generate moves so generate moves and I'm passing the pointer to the move list like this so let's make sure it still compiles and runs okay and now the interesting part so we're supposed to be looping over the moves uh, within the move list so loop over moves within well oh, let's say loop over generated moves like this so I can simply say like four and integer move count equals to zero move count uh, is less than uh, move list uh, move list count like this and just like what just, just the same stuff we've been doing within a print move list uh, basically that's it and move count plus plus uh, okay uh, I guess we can initialize the move here so we can say int move uh, equals move list and moves array indexed by this move count Okay, so let's make sure it still compiles and runs. Perfect. And now we need to make move, print the board, and take it back. And that's it. So the very first thing, uh, though, we need to preserve the board state. And I just say copy board like this. And then make move. 
uh, we are not going we're not gonna be um, we're not gonna be distinguishing between uh, legal and pseudo legal moves at this particular moment because I just want to first I just want to make sure that it moves in general and then we when it comes to this distinguishing we, we will we would we would actually be doing this so for now well the, the reason is that in case uh, if we want to distinguish between the legal and illegal moves we would, we would say like if not make move which means that and and the move itself and the whole moves uh, but I'm not doing this now because uh, make move doesn't yet retur return zero uh, if the king is being exposed into a capture so that's the reason uh, why I just want to drop this for a while so at the moment we're just gonna be making the move and probably print the board after and get user input to pause the execution and then mm, yeah actually we want to take it back right so take back and just make use of our take back macro and print board and get character like this so if i did everything correctly it now should start move pieces obviously it won't it probably it most likely won't be dealing with captures correctly but i just want to make sure that it at least oh sorry get character like this but it but at least i just want to make sure that it's capable of moving pieces so the pawn was on d5 and now it goes to uh now it goes to uh, d6 okay so now it drops back so the position is restored it's 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 good so now it captures but nothing happens because we didn't really yet uh, handle the capture so it disappears here and it should be it should appear here but again it's not handled yet so just ignoring this okay so the com moves working now capture is not yet handled that's the reason why this this stuff is, hap is happening so again night captures are not working night come moves quiet moves are working okay so at least it starts making mo uh, it just uh, capable of uh, moving the pieces uh, when it comes to come when it comes to come moves and also yeah the, uh, in, in case of castling we didn't yet do anything with the rooks so you see like king was castling to c1 and to uh, g1 but the rooks did move because we didn't yet handle that those cases as well but in general uh, i'm pretty satisfied because the pieces are, are already moving so uh in the next few videos we would be taking care of uh some uh, specific move cases like captures and peasant captures castling uh handling double pawn pushes to set up the peasant square and so on well okay guys so this is it from my side i hope you learned something interesting out of this video hope uh, thanks for watching hope to see you in the next videos as well so until then and take care